Welcome everybody, today I'm excited to introduce you to the 28 vivid new Inktense colours by Derwent. Let's explore this colourful world together. Today I'm trying out the 28 new Inktense colour pencils by Derwent. For those of you that have not used Inktense before, they like watercolour pencils but on steroids. The core is made up of a permanent ink that once activated for water produces beautiful strong dynamic colours that will not wash off. I didn't want the swatching to be boring so I created a cute Winnie the Pooh balloon page so I can test all the colours and see which ones I love. Each balloon represents a different colour pencil and I cannot wait to see what they look like when I activate each with water. I already have the original 72 set of these pencils and I always thought they lacked enough light and bright colours. These new colours do not disappoint with some very pretty colours as well as adding a nice range of neutral greys and brown. For me, in any colour pencil set, it is the bright colours and the greys that I use the most so I think these additions are exactly what the set needed. The colour pencils didn't disappoint and I love the amethyst, persian red and dark cerulean. The gold pencil was the only pencil that got lighter with water but I shouldn't be too surprised as the barrel was a lot lighter than the actual lead and in my experience with these pencils, the pencil lead colour matches how the pencil looks dry and the colour tips match what the colour looks like when it's been activated with the water. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you! I'm just finishing up the drawing now and I think it's so cute. Winnie was the perfect subject, I had the exact right colour pencils to do his fur and his t-shirt and it's perfect, I love it. This is my favourite swatch page I've ever done because it's a little bit different and I actually had fun doing it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new Inktense range of 28 colours. Would you buy this for yourself? For my first art piece using these pencils, I decided to try them on a small wood slice. A surface I've never tried these pencils on before. I gave the slice a coat of gesso first in hope that the white background would allow the pencils to showcase their full brightness potential. I chose an autumn leaf with a blue background as I wanted to use the complementary colours as I thought they would look great together and showcase these pencils. And I chose the nature theme because it seemed like the perfect thing to do on a slice of wood. I wanted to do something a little different for my next piece so I bought a cheap pair of white sneakers from a department store. In a past video I actually did paint a pair of Converse Chuck Taylors and I did actually use the intense pencils on these with some small details but this time I'm doing the full shoe and that is something I haven't done with these before.
As you'll see later in this video, I did run into some problems when the fabric got wet and it caused the ink to run. I wasn't too concerned by this at first as I was going for a cartoon look anyway and I didn't want perfect lines, but this did become a huge problem as you will soon see when I added the outlines to the shoes. I used a fabric marker and I did give the shoes time to dry, well at least I thought I did. It was a disaster and the black pen ran. I was actually going to use the Ashfield pencil and not the pen, but after seeing the pencils run when the fabric got soaked, I wasn't going to chance it with a dark colour, so I used the fabric marker instead as a safe choice. Yeah, it wasn't. I just had a little bit too much confidence in my ability and I thought, it's okay, I can fix this when I add my other lines. Yeah, it wasn't going away and the shoe looked terrible. The thing is, even when I could see the paint was running and getting worse, I didn't actually stop and even panic. One thing I've learned in this art journey is everything is visible. It doesn't really matter how bad things look, you can usually fix them. Thankfully, I do have white fabric paint and I was able to go over the black ink and mostly cover up the mistakes. The ink tense pencils though don't absorb as well into the paint like they do with the fabric, so it required a lot of layers and a lot of blending to create a fairly even coverage. Are they perfect? No. But did I get to show off the pretty new colours? Yes! And that is all that matters, that's what I set out to do. I think had I primed the material before starting, such as a coating of white fabric paint, it wouldn't have run and it would have sealed the actual material. I didn't know this though at the time, it was my first time using these strictly on fabric, so it was a learning experience. Even when I did the Converse shoes, I used them over paint. I gotta say, I love that pink flamingo pencil, it is so pretty. I actually used a significant amount of it though when I had to actually fix these issues, oh well. The other colours I used on the shoes is the mint leaf green, the lapis blue for the sides of the shoes, near the laces is the mango orange which is a really pretty orange color and at the back of the shoes I used the lemon yellow and then I used the sugar plum for the tongue. And here are the final shots of the wood slice and the pencils. I didn't do a too bad a job with actually fixing the issues. I think they came out pretty well in the end considering. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!